TV coming in to do a Q&A video. My daughter is assisting me. She is going to read off the questions to me. How many locks do you have? I have 104 locks. How do you prevent buildup in your locks? I prevent buildup by using simple products that don't have any type of beeswax or mineral oil. Um, the gel that I prefer to use is an alcohol-free water-based gel and basically washing my hair on a regular basis prevents me from getting buildup. How to remove or prevent lint from getting embedded in my locks? Lint is a problem that you'll always have, especially as your hair gets longer. Um, the best way to prevent lint is to basically keep your hair off of your back as much as possible. I mean, wearing sweaters and trying to stay away from wearing sweaters that have um, lint that comes off of it, anything frizzy, um, hats that are frizzy, like wool sweaters and frizzy hats, can also lead to getting lint embedded in your locks. You can also brush your hair on a regular basis to prevent the lint from getting embedded into your locks and also washing your hair on a regular basis. What shampoos and conditioners do you like? Um, right now I don't really have a preference. I pretty much buy what's on sale, but I would recommend using not so heavy shampoos and conditioners, something that may have like clarifying in the title, something that's um, cleansing, nothing that's really too heavy. Um, also with conditioners, make sure the conditioners are not too thick. Um, if it is a thick conditioner that you do enjoy, you can dilute it with water. How often do you wash and retwist your hair? I wash and retwist my hair every other week, so anywhere between 10 and 14 days. Why do you retwist so often and is it necessary? I personally like to retwist my hair on a regular basis um, because it just is what I'm comfortable with. I like my hair to look a certain way and keep and retwisting it every 10 to 14 days gives me the look that I like. It's no way necessary to retwist your hair every other week. You realistically don't have to retwist your hair at all. Um, it will eventually lock naturally on its own, but I personally like to have the manicured look of every other week. Um, some people do their hair, um, retwist their hair once a month. Some people retwist their hair every other month. It's just personal preference. How often do you oil your hair and scalp? Uh, I pretty much oil my hair and scalp whenever I wash it. Um, I don't even know if I really need to put oil on my scalp. It's just something that I've always done after washing my hair. But my hair, I guess, is oily on its own, so I don't really have to do it on a regular basis. So I gen gen generally don't oil my hair only, at, only during washing times. Like occasionally I will oil my hair itself in between washes, but it might be once a week, if that. What is your go-to hairstyle? My go-to hairstyle is what I'm wearing right now, which is a two-strand twist out. Um, basically, I just take two, two locks, twist them together, and that gives me these results. Um, it's my go-to style because it lasts the longest, and it's very simple, and it's good for all occasions, whether I'm going to work, going to meetings, if I'm going to a party. It just is a very functional hairstyle. It looks like we have similar hair texture. Can I expect my locks to look the same as yours? I get this question quite frequently. Um, I'll have a viewer watching my videos and they're like, oh wow, you know, your hair looks very similar in texture to mine. Um, I'm hoping that my hair comes out like yours. Um, unfortunately, there's no way to know just because my hair may look the same as yours on camera. There's no way to know if our hair textures are exactly the same. Um, I have a few different hair textures in my hair. The edges seem to be a little bit um, finer and not as coarse and then it gets coarse as it gets to the middle so it's really impossible to answer that question honestly um, you just have to try it <laughs> and see what happens I mean most likely it will still come out beautiful but there's no way to know if it's going to have the exact same results that my hair does especially if we don't use the same products or follow the same hair regimen um, there's so many variables even if we did have the same exact hair texture um, it's the results may not be the same. I have curly slash wavy hair. Will my hair lock? That's another question I get quite often. Um, people with mixed mixed race or finer hair textures where their hair is not as coarse as mine or it might be wavy or even straight ask me this often. Um, Asians who have the straightest hair in the world, they have, have locks. Um, Caucasians have locks 
anyone can basically wear locks. It just take it just may take a bit more time to lock than if you have coarse hair like mine. Why do your locks look so round and smooth? <laughs> I get this question quite often. Also, um, my hair isn't that round and smooth, but I do feel like palm rolling is the key to getting. Um, cylindrical uniform locks, which that is something that I do on a regular basis. Every other week when I wash and retwist my hair, I do palm roll my hair. And I do palm roll from the root and pretty much to the end with each lock. And I think that will help your locks to have a more uniform and round look. Should I trim my locks? Um, again, that's personal personal preference. Me, I do trim my locks, especially now that they've gotten longer. Um, what I've noticed as, over the years is that my ends tend to um, start to get thinner and I guess um, not look as blunt at the bottom. I think it may have to do with the fact that I use rubber bands to two strain twist my hair on a regular basis. So I do find the need to trim the ends and occasionally I will have some weak spots at the end as well that I do think trimming is the best option to have healthy looking locks instead of locks that may look scraggly. <laughs> uh, how long will it take for my hair to lock? Each person is different. It all depends on your hair texture. My hair took almost a year to lock. Around the 11th month, I, I believe my hair was pretty much locked. Um, but more, more importantly, it probably wasn't fully mature until two years. Um, even though it was locked at 11 months, I probably could have still taken it out very easily. So I would say anywhere between like the first year. Why are your parts so neat and how can I achieve the same look? Um, my parts are neat um, because I actually started them with very neat parts. Um, I also have very fine hair, meaning that my hair strands are not very thick. Each individual hair strand on my head is very, very thin, and I don't have a lot of hair. So my parts do look neat because that, that's the nature of my hair that's very thin. So I had neat parts to begin with, and I just maintain those parts by palm rolling them and cleaning out the parts with a comb, but more importantly, more importantly, it is the texture of my hair that makes my parts look so neat and clean. And it's actually something that I don't really like that much. I wish I had fuller hair, but um, I don't. So it does have the appearance of being um, very neat because my hair is so thin. How do you control frizz? I control frizz by wearing a scarf at night. Um, right now you can t see that my hair isn't that frizz free. I have a lot of frizz at the moment. Um, but really, just covering it at night is the best way to fight frizz. Also, palm rolling it on a regular basis will help reduce frizz. I just started my locks. How long should I wait to wash them? That is a personal preference. It really depends on who's taking care of your hair. Um, if you're doing your hair yourself, you have the flexibility to wash and re-switch your hair as much as you like. Um, if you're going to a loctician like I did when I first started, I was at the mercy of my loctician. He recommended coming in every every four to six weeks. So in the beginning stages, I, I went in about every four weeks. Um, but if you're doing your hair at home, like I started Lil T's hair at home, I washed and retwisted her hair every week in the beginning stages. But that's only because I was doing it myself at home and I was able to care for it properly. Um, so it's really personal preference. Um, if you have looser hair textures, you may have to wait a little bit longer to wash your hair because it may unravel. But if you have coarse hair like I do or like Lil T does, you probably can wash it on a regular basis. Again, with Lil T, I did it every week. My hair not so much in the beginning stages only because I went to a loctician. So it's really personal preference. How do you get your twist outs to look so defined? I get them to look defined by using setting lotion in addition to using a hooded dryer. Um, the setting lotion gives my locks more control and holds the locks in place and using a hooded dryer to make sure it's completely dry also sets the style. Um, you can also leave twists in for a long time overnight after twisting it overnight or a few days and you can achieve similar looks but I really believe it's the combination of using the hooded dryer and using setting lotion. Do you color your hair and do you notice any damage? Yes, I do color my hair. Um, on top I dye it a jet black, in the back I dye it a caramel brown. Um, I have noticed some damage on the lighter portion of my hair. Um, it does seem to have a, a softer texture than the hair 
on the top and I do notice a bit of thinning towards the ends of my locks which I do trim off if I do notice. Um, the darker part, not I really haven't noticed anything. I think that there is a damage that can be caused by going lighter. Um, I don't go too light and I only color my hair in the back once a year or every like eight months to a year so I don't have significant damage but you should be careful when coloring your hair and you may even want to consider going to a professional. I just started my locks. How long should I wait to style them? That's a personal preference. Um, again, you can, if you're going to a loctician, you should go by their advice. But if you're doing them at home, it would be up to you to try and see what works with your hair. When I did Lil T's hair, I did style her hair pretty much from the beginning within the first three weeks. Um, me, I did wait for three months at the, at the advice of my loctician. So it is personal preference. How long have you had your locks? I've had my locks for six years. <laughs> Let me see, how long has it been now? Six years. It was six years, August 23rd. I started my locks August 23rd, 2008. So let's see. So, six years and five months. What advice can you give new lockers? Well, basically, guys, you just need to have patience. Um, it is something that does take a while to get used to, especially if you are a woman that's used to different styles where your hair was fuller or longer. Um, the first year can be trying as far as getting used to the new look on, on yourself. Like for me, it was very challenging because I was used to having a fuller look, wearing an afro, wearing um, box braided extensions, um, even wearing weaves. It was just a much different look having than short hair. So that was the challenging part for me. Um, but it does pass quickly. I don't really remember much about the first year and a half. If I didn't have a YouTube channel, it probably would be a distant memory. It's definitely worth the wait of going through um, locking your hair. Um, also, less is more when it comes to locks. You don't need a lot of expensive products. Um, your hair will lock on its own with just water if, if you didn't want to use any products. Um, and just enjoy the journey. Like It is fun at all stages. Um, even the short stages, if you can learn to style it and be versatile with it and just enjoy it because the beginning stages actually go quite quickly and your hair will be long for a much longer time than it will be short. So just enjoy it. Okay, that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any more questions for me, just put them in the, in the comment section below and I'll definitely follow up with another Q&A video. Until next time.